Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're going to discuss the cancellation of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party for 2021, and we'll also go through all the seasonal entertainment that you're going to find at Walt Disney World. I really hope this comes back in 2022. I mean, this is such a great event, Mickey's Very Merry. Anyhow, it's being replaced with the Disney Very Merriest After Hours, so all you need to know about the holidays at Disney World is coming right up. So let's start at the Magic Kingdom. As Aaron said, Disney's Very Merriest After Hours will be replacing Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, which has been operating since 1983. This replacement, as far as we know, is not permanent, so we may get the original Very Merry Party back in 2022. We don't have all the details on dates for Disney's Very Merriest After Hours yet. However, tickets will go on sale next month. This is a separately ticketed event, so you will need to have a ticket to participate. The event will go for four hours. This is over the three hours that the Disney only had three hours for the boobash, so at least you're getting an extra hour. It'll go from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. We assume this will operate similar to boobash in the Magic Kingdom. If you don't have a ticket for the Magic Kingdom, you can still enter the park at 7 p.m., two hours before the event starts. This would be a lot of this would be a lot less time for your ticket versus Mickey's Very Merry, where you're able to enter the park at 4 p.m. Uh, so you know a little bit less value there. I find it really strange this party. I'm not exactly sure what Disney's sort of thinking. Like I get the boobash that went until 12:30 because it's Halloween and it sort of thematically aligns to Halloween. And if you're going as adults, like that kind of makes sense. But for this 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 event, the Disney Very Merriest. It goes until one, and yet it's such a family-friendly, like the holidays at Disney is such a family-friendly thing. It just surprises me. It makes no sense that it would go until one, in my opinion. And I think the name Disney Very Merriest uh, After Hours is, is weird, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to really have a hard time with that 1 a.m., and, and I'm an adult. Like, I'm going to probably need a lot of coffee, and we will not be going to Rope Drop, you know, anywhere the next morning. Yeah. So I, I am also surprised. Um, there was one comment online that I saw that they were saying maybe it's because of the 50th anniversary. So if people have been going to Disney for the 50th anniversary, when you do have the Very Merry Christmas Party, you are leaving, they kick you out the park at six if you don't have a ticket. So you might, maybe that's part of the reason. I thought that was an interesting idea of maybe why it's different this year. Yeah, I think it's a little altruistic. I think Disney just wants more money. <laughs> there could be that too. That comment is flying around a lot as well. I also just wanted to jump in and say, even though it ends at one, you know, like you still have to get back to the parks <laughs> or to your resorts, I should say. And that can take, you know, anywhere from an extra hour. So if you're there with kids, even though it ends at one, you know, you're going to have to take Disney transportation and Disney transportation can be slow, you know, depending on where you are, if you're going to Animal Kingdom, which is way further away, or you're in a place like Coronado Springs where, you know, you've got, you know, like four different bus stops you've got to wait uh, before you get back to your resort. So, you know, do think about that if you're considering this and especially if you're going to take kids or even yourself, because, you know, you in some ways, the, the best one to go with is contemporary because you're going to walk. But other than that, uh, you're going to be taking some form of transportation. But if you're interested in the Halloween event, the Disney's After Hours Boo Bash, we have a video on that. And tickets are still available at least of July, so check out our video if you're going to be in Walt Disney World from August 10th to October 31st. As Aaron said, tickets for the Christmas After Hours go on sale next month, and let's hope it's easier to purchase than it was for the Boo Bash people, for people who were staying in deluxe hotels. We were on the phones for hours. Uh, well, thank you. Aaron was on the phone for hours. By we, I mean you. And the pricing for the holiday, the Very Merriest After Hours event has not been announced yet. But if we're able to use the Boo Bash announcement as a guide, this will be an expensive ticket yeah. costing between 129 to 199 US dollars per person, depending on the day. Although it's not a huge bump in price, you do also get less time in the theme park than last year's Christmas event. So overall, it's quite a bit more expensive with less park time. Annual pass holders and DVC members do get a $10 discount though. Yay! And I'm sure it'll be more expensive, slightly more expensive than Boo Bash. Mm. I bet you it's going to be slightly more popular. 
So what do you get for all of this money? Well, Fireworks is back with Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks show, which is great. Glad to see fireworks back in the Magic Kingdom. There will be a holiday attraction overlay, or there'll be several. There'll be new projections on Cinderella's castle, and that's, they don't have the twinkle lights anymore, the dream lights, I think they call them, because of the decoration. So they're gonna have a projection for the holidays. Um, once more, there will be holiday treats, I assume cookies, which is what it's staple of of Mickey's Very Merry. <laughs> uh, there will be ice cream, popcorn, and bottled beverages, all included in the ticket price and all you care to enjoy. <laughs> Additionally, the characters will be out. Snowfall is back on Main Street USA, and there'll be new themed food and beverages available for purchase, hopefully more than what they've released so far, the one for uh, uh, Boobash. Some holiday-themed photo pass opportunities and special lighting. The cookies and drink station are always nice and a little special treat, but I do assume there'll probably be less of them and they might be more spread out as there will be less people attending because it's an after hours event. I am disappointed they're not going to have the parade and that they don't have the Tinkle Light on the castle, but as we said with the 50th anniversary, they do have decorations, so it may not be possible to put the lights on. But, and I do hope actually that the attendance is similar to the after hours party. You are having a bump in price, so having reduced attendance so you can really do a lot in the park and hopefully we can see the characters and, you know, it might, I don't know when they'll do the fireworks, but I, as I said, I do hope that the, the attendance is reduced for that price bump as well. Yeah, we do have a video about the after hours event that we went to before COVID and it seems as though with after hours being in the name of both this and that, uh, if you are interested in this, you might also want to check that video out simply because it will uh, tell us, uh, tell you a little bit more about after hours and the food that you get and the attendance and stuff. So could be a good option. Now over to Hollywood Studios. We have Sunset Greetings back, which is great. Uh, it's a great show, including holiday projections and the on the holiday Tower Hotel instead of the Hollywood Tower Hotel, which is Tower of Terror. Santa Claus will also be bringing the cheer on a motorcade down Hollywood Boulevard. Two other items in Hollywood uh, are the, for the first time in forever, a frozen sing-along celebration, which seems a little on point for COVID because uh, it's been the first time in forever we've been to Disney. <laughs> yeah, at least for us Canadians. <laughs> yeah. And Minnie Mouse is back at the Hollywood and Vine for Minnie's Holiday Dine. A vintage, and vin vintage decorations will also adorn the park. Uh, we also do have a video about uh, Minnie's Holiday Dine from uh, two years ago, again, pre-COVID. They didn't have it uh, last year. So if you're interested in that uh, food event, uh, it's a great, great place to meet the characters during Christmas. Uh, we have a link to that that will be popping up. All the video plugs. <laughs> okay. Animal Kingdom will be bringing back its seasonal decorations and have character flotillas sailing down Discovery River. The Tree of Light will also have seasonal projection map as well. Disney Springs, the best place on property for good food and shopping. The Christmas tree stroll is back where you can see some nicely decorated trees uh, as you kind of walk through parts of the Disney Springs. Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar is back with its holiday overhaul, which will be amazing and a great spot for some new festive favorites. Yeah, I'd really like to check out Jock Lindsay's and, and what they have for the holiday. Wrapping up will be the resorts and Epcot. The resort hotels will have their iconic trees and seasonal touches, which really makes the holiday season a bit special. Waking up to a huge lobby tree is amazing and the holiday menus in the restaurant. Epcot will be hosting the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays from November 26th to December 30th, which is starting later than usual yeah, this year. It feels shorter, yeah. Returning will be the holiday kitchens around the park, performances by Voices of Liberty, and the Cookie Stroll. Looks like the fan favorite, the Candlelight Processional, will not be returning in 2021. And honestly, I'm not sure why. Perhaps they didn't book the talent that they wanted, you know, and yeah, just with COVID stuff. Then. Yeah, so they just decided mm -hmm. to cancel it for this year. Yeah, that would make sense. So there you have it. That's what Christmas is gonna look like at Walt Disney World for 2021. Many things are coming back, but headlining shows like Mickey's Very Merry and Candlelight Processional won't be returning, unfortunately. So what are you most interested in at for Christmas in Disney World? Will you be buying the tickets for Disney's Very Merriest After Hours? Or would you rather immerse yourself in the magic at Hollywood? 
We love the Sunset Seasonal Greetings. It's a great show on Hollywood Boulevard. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end and happy travels. Thank you.